it, it's difficult to watch, but congratulations to Elegant. You know, 3-0 victory. We've been seeing a lot of 3-0s here, Bam. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going people on. People are getting man. washed people left and getting right, sweeped man. up, but, Dang. you know, speaking of washed up, is that a... I love Larry Lurie, man. I don't Yo, know. what me, the me heck? Yo, get this man <laughs> off me. Don't ever say that about my brother, dude. It's a dude. joke. What the heck? I love Larry, man. Speaking of washed no, up, no, yeah. <laughs> say that again, man. No, dude. No, honestly, I'm a big, I'm a big Larry fan, man. Are you? My, my man's yeah. I was just thinking about them earlier, man. You a big Larry fan? I'm a big Larry fan, man. Dude, I, we bonded at Zero Saga, man. I don't know. We talk, we I've never heard this. a fan say he's Yo, a fan. I, Actually, never mind. I see him. Smash fans are fit Smash of, fans are. They say that all the time. No, man. You know what? Today, today, Mangles today. is no, tomorrow no, no, you're the yeah. <laughs> So never mind. I take, I take everything back what I just said. Okay, man. But yeah, Larry Learn, uh, my man's top five is Southern California. One, one of the best foxes out there. You know, when people think of foxes right now in Ultimate, like the one that always, the number one that always goes to people's uh, minds is uh, Light, right? Then you go, back, the second one, it always goes back to Larry Lur. And he's also just playing the species as well. You know, he plays Fox, Falco, uh, Wolf. Which is he's busting out right here. That's yeah. why he likes Squad Strike a little bit over at Pound. He did right. really, he did really well yeah. at Pound Squad Strike because he had access to all three spaces. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, he, right now he's been focusing more so on Wolf, yeah. uh, which makes sense because if you guys look at his natural playstyle, he is someone who has always been extremely talented when it comes down to ledge trapping. He has, he was a top three ledge trapper in the game next to Deep and next to Zero. It's like he, I'm pretty sure he's like the one that invented the whole forward air uh, footstool, you know? Yeah, he's just like, he's, he's just really good at ledge trapping. So because yeah. of that, if you look in this game, an alternate Fox just can't ledge trap that kind of way. So I do like that he's playing the space that can. However, man, ledge trap or not, dude, he's, my man is getting knighted. Like, yeah, what, what honestly, we, we gotta talk about Ven for a bit, man. This guy, this Zelda extraordinary. You don't see too many Zeldas appearing in the top 48 of a bracket, man. But like, whenever you do, like, they're very devastating to deal with because first off, they got a lot of like good stuff going for them. Their up B recovery, kind of hard to punish because if you try to, unless you're like holding shields, because they, that actually can kill upon yep. recovery. Yeah. It's one of those things you gotta be on the lookout. You'll see a lot of Wi-Fi Zeldas go for that as well. But Ven is the farthest from being a Wi-Fi Zelda. My man is competing in tournaments. I like that he's playing super sneaky with those up bears, catches it through the stage, you know, catching unsuspecting Larry Lur who's waiting on the ledge. Yeah, man. Yep, this character is just so strong right now, in my honest opinion. I think that this character is a lot better than people still I just said it for. Obviously, this character is not like a top five, a top ten. But uh, I think that like a bona fide high tier character and a character that a lot of people don't have aren't really accustomed to playing as of yet. So the option, this idea of having a like, grounded option keep it out there, the idea of that up air just <laughs> exploding my man's chest. Like yeah. that that this character can hit. She is explosive, man. That will do tons of damage and big big enough to knock back and now Larry's like struggling to find an answer against the Zelda. Big forward air. He's just gonna try to back off the Nero's love. Oh, that's some shield damage. Oh, you'll see this a lot from Wolves, right? Just go for the double dash attack. I like it. Really good. Punch really easy man. confirm. Scratch? No, nothing to do. Try to get the up air right afterwards. That's a, a, a big game plan coming from Zelda, right? Again, it's a whole wanting to like put your opponent vertically. Right? Try to kill him off the top. Dash attack, off stage pressure. So is that the Phantom Knight while he goes off stage as well? And that's like a big mix of it. That's like a big uh, part of Zelda's game plan is like how you control the Phantom Knight. Yeah, Phantom Knight is such a very versatile tool. Oh, he's exposed. Crash. Oh, oh my god, and that's the thing. Yeah, he did it again. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's popping off. My man said get baited because like that, honestly that was a great great bait coming out from Ben. It's it's tough, right? Because a lot of wolves want uh -huh. to be on the edge of the stage. They yeah. want to be there to land that down smash. Yeah. But like with Zelda, yeah. you, know, you got you got that up B able to just kinda catch the opponent on the ledge. Now Larry Lur still has some fight left in him. He's got 120%. Yep. He's bleeding a bit, but extremely doable. I've seen wolves kill at 40, man, so oh, yeah. that's all you need. Strike that damage safe and sound, but he's off stage currently against Ben. Ben pulling the stage, but Larry's starting yeah. to adapt bit by bit, both to the player as well as the character. There we and that's go. why it shows the expertise, because Larry's been in the scene for a very long time. Yep. This is the melee days, man. It ain't over, man. Yeah, DHF. Get down smash. Whoop. Like I'm trying to like space a little oh, bit yeah, away from that definitely. neutral air, a little, little foot. He is hunting. 
I love it. He's sitting back. And this is one of the great tactics against this character. When you see Phantom Knight, a lot of people, they simply just run into it or they shield or whatever. So a lot of times, you can kind of sit back, utilize the, your stage, or right? utilize your real state, sit back, and don't deal with it. Right, right. Especially on a stage like PS2, where you, like, you have plenty of room to get away from the Phantom Knight, you know? Right. That's exactly what Larry Lurr's doing. Look how patient he's playing. He's got plenty of time on the clock. It doesn't matter who has the lead. Exactly. He avoids the up air. You see him spacing out. Easy That's up the adaptation and you are dead. coming from Larry Lurr. You, you are saw dead. It, man. He act the entire time. You yeah, are that dead. Was, that was Larry Lurr being like, okay, how do I fight Zelda? How yep. do I fight Ven? The very beginning, he got caught by the up air at the bottom yep. of the blast zone. He also got caught by the up And that's on the what ledge. you get, man. That's what you see. My boy, it was. My boy was popping off in the back. He yes. should have just been quiet. Yeah, if honestly, he was quiet, he honestly, okay. that powered up Larry. That, in my opinion, I, the moment I said, it, I'm like, he's gonna <laughs> lose because <laughs> my man is talking. <laughs> you shouldn't talk. You Larry, can't Larry, jam. My man Larry was like, <laughs> bet? No Larry. Yo, my man was like, bet. <laughs> bet. Yo, <laughs> battle. Get baited. Yes. Yeah. Say that again. <laughs> say, say that again. <laughs> Who got baited though? Yeah. Okay, say here that we again. go. You got Wolf versus <laughs> Ben here <laughs> in Battlefield. Now this is Ben's counter pick. It only gets a lot off of these platforms. But so does Wolf. Yeah. Wolf gets a lot of like vertical combo damage. As well, yeah. being able to camp these platforms also gives the ability to camp the platforms away from the Phantom Knight. So yep. even though it's a smaller stage, it's easy for them to just try to like pick a uh, pick a platform to be able to avoid the night. Okay, the night's on the ground. I'm gonna camp these platforms so it's safe on the ground. Ooh, what a meaty up tilt! Not gonna get too much out of that though. Yep, I love this. Goes right behind the Phantom Knight. So it's funny because again, really camping underneath these platforms are really really nice for a zone new character kind of like Zelda. At the, at the same token, though, or like crap. Oh my god! Oh, that was sneaky. That was actually really nice. I that love that. That still got some tricks in his arsenal, yeah, man. Like, I really love Edge Guard, man. Really you know, game stuff. one was everything. Like, yeah. and that's so good because of course you're gonna have so many intense on that move, where it's like, yeah, let me just turn off and uh, use my iframes. I don't care what move you do, I'm gonna hit you. And that neutral B is so like imperative for Zelda's, right? Because if yeah. you see like any sort of pressure from like a melee like Wolf, you know, like you usually just like a get off me. Yeah. Zelda's exactly been doing it against any time. Any time has been really close, you know. Just coming up the air as well. True. Oh, good scratch. Oh. Not gonna kill just yet. Looks gonna find its mark. Throws the projectile back. I don't want it. Take it back. Send it back to the kitchen, my man's at 150%. Looking to try to find this kill. He doesn't need anything big, just a small little F tilt. Yep. We'll see the deal, a back air. As long as it's facing towards the edge of the stage. Bring out the Phantom Knight as well to cover some distance. Yep. So Dennis gets a roll onto the stage, and now tables have turned a little bit. Catch yeah, the four yeah. smash, that's gonna be second stock. Going to vent, starting to take control. He's abusing this small stage. Yeah. There's less room for Lurler to be able to run away from. Sit back. Oh, the cross up. Can't get anything. Oh, good control. Yeah. B had a shield and a really good, again, the quick first option. Covers yeah. both areas. Nope. Goes in there, gets the kicks, gets the dash type, but he's down a full stock. Yeah. Really going to play a huge keep up game here. Down throw. It's another dash throw. Dash. Big damage. Oh, I okay. think he's trying to go for another one. Get a little bit later. There is both. It's a really strong move. Here we go. Pushes him off. 83%. I saw Phantom Knight just go for that punch, man. He didn't even form the sword. Oh, of course, man. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta duff him. Yeah. Sometimes you just don't have time to get the sword, man. Hold his hand. And notice that Ven's also going for these back ears off the platform as well. It's a really quick, like, just a first option where you're trying to, like, catch your opponent off guard as you get back down to the stage. A good catch there, you can get the spare. He'll go for potential bear, but no GI in there from Ben. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, and okay. that will be the punish. Did you see her that pose, the though? Absolutely. You see her pose. Yes, definitely one of the absolute cutest. Yeah, the kill, man. And get, yeah. Dude, she is a dancer, Kill man. cams, man, yep. Yeah. She's having a good time. I, I actually, I love this, Zelda. Yeah, I mean, better, like, the past Zelda we've had in Smash, man, because like, they've always been, like, the super serious, like, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess Zelda. This is the one from Prince of the Past. Yeah, like, this is, this is the strong one. She's fun, and I just, I'm so glad that she has this Phantom Knight that's such an effective tool. Yeah, Phantom Knight is like a very extremely cool unique character. And that's exactly what she needed. She just needed that one tool in her kit in order just to become like a rather strong character. Right. So here we go. Go back to P put PS2. Larry there recognized that he got so much mileage out of this big stage that he wants to just take it back. Not only that, Wolfie gains a lot on this stage, right? Able to go for the side he cancels yep. onto the platform. True. There we go. We're gonna have some more blasters. Phantom Knight gonna throw on the ledge to be able to cover the uh, the approach. You yeah. saw how careful Larry was there. He like ran up, 
One away from the wall to see what option was going to be. Goes oh, forward catch. to the catch the two frame. Now go right there. Oh big gosh. with the down smash. Get scratch. Double two frame. Oh man, moving. Yep, absolutely. Oh, the, the, oh no. He wanted to end it right there, but now put himself in a bad spot. There we go. I like the delay. Yeah. Oh, because he, he know that he was going to go for a shield grab. Absolutely. Move this up there, okay? There we are. Oh, did not get the buffer dash attack that you needed. Okay, back up away from the crystal. Oh, good scratch. Good up air there. Going to hit him in the corner. All right, let's track. There we go. Now, I'll expect the up even. Now, gets grabbed. grab. Big damage off that down throw. Trying to get the explosive up air as well. And trying to make some fireworks. And notice how he is putting on that pressure because he understood I don't want this random knight to be out here I don't want to deal with this so he's, he's gonna avoid it and once that random knight is out he knows he has a limited amount of time in which you have a cooldown for the phantom knight that's where he's gonna rush that's when he's gonna put on pressure on his character right and we have an 81 91 once the back here super close he actually used there was love to be able to kind of just like give himself some vertical space yep. he stalled out a little bit because that would have connected otherwise oh and what a string right there 37 percent not going to be too much, but just enough to push into a little bit of the mid-range. You keep seeing Ben throwing out those Phantom Knights against the ledge and just covers his recovery a yep. little bit. The important player would be able to start off away from the ledge. Okay. Starting right out, uh, right at the start. Yeah. Uh, however, you're seeing right now from Ben, you notice now that like, he's realizing that, okay, this is a certain timing that Larry's looking for. Whenever my Phantom Knight is down, he's looking for me. So I love that he was able to put out a forward smash at one point in time to be okay. Now is he going to do so again? We don't know. So we'll have to see. Yeah, but that's kind of where the mix-up are coming from. Oh, beautiful bear. He said, not this time. Can we talk about no Larry's spacing? Can we talk about that so spacing, man? good. He, like, he actually put that forward tool at the very edge of it, and then he did the exact same thing with the back here. You see, he, just, he knows Micro the exact spacing, man. The safest spot to be at for throwing out that those moves. Yeah. Very smart stuff. Okay. Back to the toes. Those toes will kill. Yep. Oh, we're oh, oh, he's getting Six. tons of damage off that platform. Chase. Not gonna get it though. Good, good, good reversal right there. Coming off the Based on Another one. Right. Set up. Yep, it's a trap. Yeah, honestly. I mean, the thing is, you have to make a decision. When that Phantom Knight's ready, Ben's planning. Two steps ahead. So he's gonna shield those blasters. Ooh, I love that. Air and dash attack. Side B trying to get cast there. No, not gonna get it. Uh, gets caught by the up B Ooh. as well. Phantom Knight going in Stop. with the underhanded swipe. One stock apiece. Ben's sitting has 92%. This is Larry Lur's time to shine, man. This is one big punish, but hold on a sec. But there we go. Ben is starting to rack up the damage. Oh, good blaster. Coming to the down tilt. Not going to get anything from it. Too Not much rage. Want to get the confirm. Yep. Trying to find this opening. Going for super safe options with the neutral air instead. And then just like that, Larry Lur's back. Puts Ben back on the spot that he wants him to be and goes for a super unsafe up smash. Would have sealed out the game. And I find himself off stage. Catches Ooh, him with the catch. up B. Yep. Oh, the dash attack hit, and that is going to be the stock, and we are going in. Need to get those no, trades, man. Five. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You need to get those absolutely. trades. Absolutely. That's going to be Larry Lur going up two to one in this first yes. to three. Game four. I mean, they're racing there. I mean, you don't, you don't want to be knocked into loser side this early on, too. And this would also be devastating because, you know, Larry Lur, again, uh, number five currently on the SoCal PR. He gets knocked out. This is kind of a huge upset for Ben. A very good victory for him. Oh, absolutely. But, of course, we all know he's one of the greatest smashers of all time. Of all time. Of all time. Of all time. Uh, he's in that uh, top oh. five overall smashers. And, yes, the bird is out. I love it. And so even, like you said, even though he is, like, top five right now in SoCal, people always see him as the one. And they're kind of waiting for him to come back. I know that he's been doing a lot of stuff with this bird, as you can see right now. And you know, only he is 26, though, he's not going to be able to get that conversion with that up air, unfortunately. That timing can be a little bit tight to actually chain all up there up airs. You can do a lot of short hop up air, up air loops with this character, so... Yeah, I mean, and honestly, Bam, let's talk about why he opted to go for Falco here, right? Because last time he got counterpicked to Battlefield. Well, although Wolf does like Battlefield, Falco loves this stage. Right. I think that's honestly one of the reasons why he opted to go for this character, because he knew that Ben was going to take him to Battlefield. So you know what? He's going to go for Battlefield. He gets so much damage, but honestly, oh goodness, you're going to get caught on the ledge by the Phantom Knight. That Sword Queen is going to come in clutch. Yeah. The, the, what Falco gets off to this stage has not really been capitalizing on just yet, right? Trying to get these up throws. There we go, vertical damage. Yeah. Send him flying. Oh, he's sitting at 108%. Try to get him airborne. Up throw. Okay. He's got one of the yeah, best jumps in the ride. game, man. He covers so much catch. distance. Very, very beautiful drop zone there to actually uh, 
bring out the neutral B coming out of our event. Closing down with that bear. Uh, here we go. Good cross throw off the stage. Um, the laser um, delay. Oh, that down tilt. Oh, oh. Patty goes for a double. Literally counting his blessings to get back onto the stage. Sure. Uh, that was a good side B. He yeah. just did it like immediately, but he gets caught by the up. He had a shield still living. Bless the battlefield blast him. Sure. So he's going to be able to get back onto the stage 107%. He can get up tilt. No, he's just going to down throw. Oh, what's a down throw? Yeah. Dash up tilt. Not going to really work on a character on that range. Uh, of course, with that rage as well. If your combo is not true against Zelda, it might not be best to go for it just because she has that get off me move. Right, absolutely. You got to respect it. It's a parry. Oh, there we go. It's damage. Uh huh. Uh Not going to get that parry. Get the guy out. Yes. Been doing a fantastic job trying to avoid these follow ups, but now he's on the ledge. Gets Falco. Again, his entire game plan is to get him airborne. Yep. Gets so much damage off that by trying to follow him up with the jumps. The up tilt is one of the most devastating moves that Falco has. Sure. It is super oppressive. It's safe on shield as long as it's a space properly. There he goes. Okay, there we go. Easy damage. And that was a bait from Larry. You saw him land down with that forward air, thinking that Ven was like, okay, I can punish this afterwards. Yeah. But he immediately went for the up tilt because it's super safe. Yeah, Nair fastball and Fair fastball are yeah. like moves that just look like they should not be as safe as they are. Yeah, and but, then they, the but they're tilt. safe. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four yeah, smash. Them. Wow. Ben's been catching that a lot. You yes. see him dash in there, get the pivot, get the forward smash, and send him flying. He's going to jump into this final stock. Literally, they're one stock away from moving on into further into the bracket winner side. But Ben, one stock away from bringing this to the potential game five, and you know he wants it. Oh, absolutely. He's not out of the win. Here we go. And I, I want to talk a brief moment. Like you said, those forward smashes that he's been catching. I think that uh, Ben has been getting a lot of mileage out of these dash backs and kind of the sense of timing in which Larry's going to dash in. And so that's why these forward smashes are coming in and been very effective. On the flip side of though, now we've seen Larry has been able to bait those out a little bit more, whether it be the forward smash, whether it be the Nairu's love. And because of that, that's how he's been able to rack up his damage and pull away in this week, potentially to close it out right now in this game four. I mean, that's why he's at 104, man. Yeah. Like, so much damage happening here, but this Ben's still trying to do something. Panda Knight coming out to try to push Falco away to give himself some breathing room. Venice make the right call, avoids the backer, but again, it's oh, super and safe. And that is your life. He used the back air to try to catch the <laughs> jump, and the second he committed the jump, he immediately went, went for the up tilt right afterwards, gets the kill, gets him off the top, and that's the hands off my... Uh, yep. Uh, like, hands off it, man. Hands off it, And man. Larry's off. He's gone. <laughs> he's, a, he's like, I'm out of here. He's like, just 